Hey cuties! Summer break is coming to a close and Life Wonders is commemorating it now with a break between events. They got some pickups and some evos, but will these be enough to tide you over until summer 2? Electric Bugaloo. Like a few other transients, the goddess of boundaries marks her place as one remembered for a specific but situational purpose. And forgotten for the rest, in the case of Hecate, she's less known for her healing and mitigation of damage and debuffs, but is revered for her witchcraft concoctions. By applying multiple removal minor debuffs on the ally she muses behind, she attempts to sugar a convulsive shock, momentarily magnifying their damage. As a terminal shipper, she certainly gets along well with other transients who indulge in such depravities, but she fails to read the room and is unlikely to counter any particular challenge. The only thing thicker than her head is her thighs. Christine! Turning the script on its head after learning her acting role was replaced by Oscar, this masquerader now finally takes the stage with something to follow up her debuting scene. Christine's classic board wiping pull, with work up to an encore every three turns, still define her as usual, but she has rehearsed some new lines for a new supporting role. She unflinchingly faces the hecklers gathered to the front seats, and casts a stinging spotlight on them for every cast member they rebuke. She can further dress down the front of the peanut gallery of all their buffs, and continue her dazzling and entrancing performance to disarm her audience. While still not pulling in numbers like her guildmaster, the theater of Christine has breathed in new life. While you pulled for husbands, she studied the blade. Now large farm maps with multiple mechanics are here and you're all unprepared. Except for Suzuka, where she studied the blade. A damaged demon when unencumbered in her pursuit, she reliably clears the front row with strength usually only found in calm clears. In fact, she stands toe to toe with other 5 star front row clears, dealing a reliable 16,000 damage, going a step further with chance extreme lethal 80,000 damage, all the while rallying her squadron, purging her own debuffs, and denying enemy damage and charge meter. She partially falls off after her 3 turn hunt, so she is best suited for farming, though she's no slouch in challenges for pulling off massive digits. If you want to avoid her wrath, you'd best offer her your head in another way. Swiftly stalking through the night, the Queen of Kabukicho seeks out her next young virgins to indoctrinate. Partially biting on her prey's necks, Ellie bathes in her vitality and energy leaving dazzled backline witnesses both frozen in terror and disarmed by her charm. Lost in the dark of her night, her victims lose their force of retaliation and are at greater risk of severe feasting from her and her invigorated legion. With her high uptime special love bites, she enumerates her legion by enslaving her targets, puppeteering them to deal massively increased damage to the immobilized backline onlookers while denying them the sweet release of death. Her MO is clear. Toy with the enemy rather than outright crush them. If you prefer to eat your food rather than play with it, then maybe you should pocket Ellie for something else. Perhaps babysitting or daycare? <laughs> the mother of abominations has been cooking ideas in her oven, and now births a recipe for emasculation. Babylon first sends Tyrion to carve her victims, and with her sultry voice, stokes her deniers' egos before trampling them. Her chalice invokes both her blessing to all participants in her orgy, and her curse to her direct playthings. Vengeance seekers at a close range are at risk of completely reversing her blessing, further whittling their virility. While enemies who challenge her are left too impotent to challenge her followers, she welcomes most assaulters without protection, inviting them to break her and leave themselves covered in her acidic blood that her followers will mercilessly engorge themselves on. Situational presence with upfront bosses and ninth year battles, the Scarlet Woman continues to wait for her turn to come. The Merman Ruler of the Depths marks his grand return with the call of his conch, but his incoming waves arrive with less crash and more splash. Triton protects his beach from coast intruders, holding his ground firmly while protecting his fellow islanders by deflecting damage, debuffs, and displacement. He further neuters the enemy of their buffs and charge meter before bracing for impact to boost his team's damage. But with every part of the strategy dependent on the deprecated archetype of low rate multi rolling, he stands as one of the least reliable tanks. You're like here to use his common card, where he's the only native experience booster that can double dip with a beast tamer's booster, while enjoying decent range. But with affiliation dispatches existing now, it may be time to say goodbye as he departs from his role as the must have all father. 
Be careful what you wish for. And if you wish for a hot, easy to use transient, with great damage and great range, you just might get this hot-headed coach instead. With three different damage amps at different inconvenient timings and questionable rates, Jin does not stand out for reliable farming or for solo carrying challenges, best functioning in a team that fully commits to supporting him further. Not remarkable in his teaching methods either, where he loses one of his amps, and with no native affiliation to his name, Jin's common card is perhaps the worst native experience booster you could possibly bring. Maybe you can make a different wish if it's come true. I think he could use a couple rubs. It's a deal. The conductor of the end is prophesied to prepare all life on Earth for the day of judgment. And this entails beckoning all to haste on their death, be it through atrophying the frightened and the prostrated, or through searing in his brand. Rejoice, for as Israfil taketh away all earthly attachments, so too will he taketh all maladies. And as he finishes his work in one area, he flies to the next and settles there to continue his good work. And though some may doubt the goodness of his work, by Allah's grace he is given a mighty protection and the power to reclaim life. But by the same measure, should he fail to keep himself pristine, Israfil himself sees the quickening of his own departure the next time man challenges him. Surrender yourself to his huge horn, and you'll be calling out for God, feeling never more alive while so close to the brink of death. And to close things off, here are the previously covered topics that have not received any changes. Suzuka seems to be worth a few pulls, so you can always redeem her in anniversary. As for the limited batch, picking up their comments is tempting, but ultimately optional. The experience boost from Jin and Trishan's status as mentors is good to have if you're still building your roster. But do note other mentors get the job done better. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!